Hello, this is Julian from the Interactive Media Lab Dresden speaking, and I will tell you about the thoughts that Mark, Rufford and I had on the integration of explainability and hybrid user interfaces. First of all, why is this relevant? As we know, artificial intelligence, or AI, is involving itself with every aspect of our lives, and explainable AI helps to cope with this. We focus on explainability that leverages visual analytics since visualization is the most prominent means of explanation. Now, for visual analytics, a single device can be insufficient and hybrid user interfaces or HUEs can be used to deal with this. Furthermore, tasks that already use HUEs, for example, in architectural robot-assisted surgery, are also expected to adopt AI, so we need to consider how to integrate XAI in them as well. Given the expertise of our author group, we focus on HUEs that use mixed reality devices. In short, the strengths of such devices are unlimited display space, a stereoscopic rendering, the ability to alter the real world, natural interaction, and personal views. On the other hand, explainability presents itself in five explanation types, input and model attribution, explanations by example, counterfactuals, and model behavior. In order to combine these, one could think of a design space that matches the strengths of mixed reality devices to the different XAI types. We explain all of these strengths and explanation types in detail on the paper, but only describe one scenario in the following. Imagine an architect working on a building using an interactive surface with a building model and a head-mounted display that overlays the plant changes onto the real world. Now, consider an AI system that warns about a design flaw that could damage the integrity of the building. Using input attribution, the system could highlight which parts of the current structure are responsible for this warning. If the architect is not convinced by this suggestion, an explanation by example could show other buildings that have historically had a similar design flaws. Likewise, the system could show potential changes that would lead to a different conclusion, which is what counterfactual explanations support. This information could be shown in either the surface space or directly in augmented reality. To conclude, we believe that XAI by itself is not the deciding factor to change a device configuration. For instance, one of the goals of XAI is to enhance the user's trust in a system, but if the mixed reality devices are prone to overheat and visual artifacts, migrating from a purely desktop environment to a Huey setup is unjustified. On the other hand, XAI presents a nice opportunity for concrete research and evaluations that measure, for example, trust, interpretability, and visualization literacy. We note that research on XAI is focused on dealing with problems that are present already in our computing ecosystems, while visual analytics and HUEs tend to work on hypothetical situations and datasets, envisioning the future. Using XAI as a concrete application for HUEs, we believe more significant results can be achieved. With that, we thank you for listening and invite you to read our paper and further discuss our ideas.